just going off to send us over to Taiwan to Kuna. We'll box and see. Hey guys, welcome to the show. In today's episode of Can We Fix It? We're about to find out if we have fixed our QNAP 8 Bay NAS, the 872N. Now, I contacted QNAP after it just stopped turning on. You, you turn it off and it turns on and you just don't turn on. I don't know how to fix it. I tried seeing where it is, the lights come on. It just didn't turn on. So I was like, hmm, that's a bit weird. Contacted QNAP support and they said, I'm gonna fix this really easily. They said, your warranty's over even though warranty is meant to be two years. It actually, it was just over two years by a couple of days. Your warranty is over and our service center is full. So the best solution is to buy a new one. So we did that. Just moved all of the drives onto the new NAS. Let's see if you all recognize these already existing drives. says right there mount volume so let's see what happens the drives seem to be spinning it's been a few minutes hopefully it'll work I just made a long beep after a few minutes probably about five ten minutes and now we've got a login screen and we're in we're back So it's detected the RAID 6, and all we need to do is just unlock it. Hopefully I've remembered my password correctly. It says here that the cache is missing, so either insert the cache or restart the NAS. I'll just restart it. It's been doing some magic. Currently it says booting, so hopefully. Yep, transferred the bays into the new bay and it worked. So there it is. If your QNAP NAS is broken, just buy a new one as the recommended solution by QNAP Sport. That's the end of the show. Or is it? You see, I was a bit miffed by that response. I was like, yo, how am I gonna get this fixed? So I Googled it and it, I just found a lot of censored results. So I binged it and I found a lot of censored results. And then I start paged it and nothing happened and then there's no more search engines anymore. So I just looked about a bit, fished around, and I found a thread on the official QNAP forums saying the A72XT, that guy's got pages of people complaining that they turn it off and on again, and it just doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. Just it's a known issue with this system and how QNAP should sort it out. And in like the middle, page 15 or 14, Someone says that actually QNAP in Germany have found this issue to be so prevalent in their devices, they've actually officially extended the warranty by an extra year. So I was like, wait a minute here. You have a known issue in your devices and you're trying to lowball me. So I contacted them, I said, yo, I'm a bit unhappy with this. And over in Germany, they extended the warranty by a year. So luckily enough, they said, yo, we're gonna extend your warranty by a year. And uh, they're gonna set me up with a place in Australia where I can ship my unit to and they'll replace it. So I contacted the place in Australia and they said, where's your receipt, bro? What, 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 did you buy it from us? What's going on? I said, QNAP told me to talk to you. And they said, I'm confused. So I told QNAP, I said, hey, what's going on here? I talked to the Australian people. They said they don't know who I am. And they said, okay, just send it to us in Taiwan. Okay, just going off to send us over to Taiwan to QNAP. All boxed and sealed. Let's go. Check it out. Came back in about a month's time. Let's see if they fixed it. It's my box. <laughs> you know, when I repaired my Synology, they sent me a brand new unit. QNAP, QNAP, QNAP. Ash, what I find most amusing is that they literally took your box, they emptied out your QNAP, and then they didn't do anything with the box. They kept the box on the side, and they did all of that in their really busy warehouse. And then as soon as it was fixed up, they put it back into your box and sent it back to Australia. They love the box. The they box. really love the box. <laughs> they really looked after that it's box. It's a good sized box. They were like, whoa, we haven't got a box like this before. That's, this is not a vacuum, by the way. This is the package that I used to send over my unit. I'm about to find out if they fixed it. I'm actually pretty excited about this because I thought all hope was lost. You know, when they told me their service center is full and they're no longer doing that model anymore 
even though it's two years old, they're not, it no longer exists and they can't support it. I thought I was done. And that model costs, you know, a couple of grand. So let's see what is inside this box. I'm so want to see if they use my exact same bubble wrap or if they gave it the QNAP special. Is there like a box inside this box? When I picked it up from the post office, the lady said, enjoy your vacuum cleaner. I was like, it's not a vacuum. And then she reported me to the police. And I got djokovic and uh, luckily I never. So anyway, let's find out. Okay, we have a piece of paper. It says it's come from Taiwan, that road. They fixed it over there. And it looks like it could be my packaging. This does look very familiar. This was actually filled up with bubbles when I sent it to them. So they kind of just picked up my stuff. And yeah, it looks very familiar packaging. Just bubbles, bubbles. Probably broken again now, but let's see. It looks like it's my exact same unit. Unfortunately, they don't leave me a note telling me what they fixed. That would have been nice to know what the issue was or what component they had to replace. So if it happens again, I can do it myself. But nothing of that is here. Usually you do get a report, actually. Maybe I'll contact them and find out what was going on. But there it is. It's, it's, it's exactly the same as I sent it. Hopefully it will turn on. So before, when I turn it on, the lights would come on. I see like the LAN ports, but the system wouldn't power on. So let's see how this cookies. Obviously there's no disc inside, but I just want to see if it will power on. Three. It's actually on already. I plugged it in and it's on. I didn't even need to turn the power on. Yep, I've managed to fix my QNAP NAS. All you have to do, as officially recommended by QNAP, is buy a new one or or just hope that they might sort you out. And uh, thank you very much QNAP for sorting it out. One thing I'd say is, when my Synology unit failed under warranty, they actually just shipped me a brand new unit. So, you, you know, brand new package, all that kind of stuff. Whereas QNAP, I guess, maybe times are hard, you know, COVID, all that stuff. Hope you guys found this amazing video useful on how to repair your QNAP NAS useful. And uh, let me know if you guys had any experiences with your QNAPs failing and how was your repair experiences. Leave it in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. It works.